Hello, welcome to Memory and Engagement Opportunity for Wellness. My name is Michelle Hobb and I'm a speech language pathologist and the leader for the Metalark Special Programs. Thank you for joining me today. I hope we have a good time. I want to start off by saying Happy New Year. I know it's not quite here yet when you watch this, but it's still the season. So I want you to have um, a paper or a journal for your session today, as well as a pen or pencil, something to write with. And also, if you have a deck of cards, um, or two decks of cards, whichever you prefer, um, but some playing cards would be a nice thing to have to help you with your homework for the remainder of the week. So the purpose of this activity is to engage and attend to different aspects of visual information and auditory, obviously. We're going to continue with a little breath work, do a little bit of reminiscing, and work on some learning and remembering skills. So we're going to actually do some brain exercise today. And hopefully you'll laugh. I usually do something that makes you laugh. So a real quick review from last week. Last week we started talking about brain health and what can we do in our current situation, in any situation, to address our brain health. So we talked about exercise and diet. We talked about sleep and cognitive stimulation. And one of the homework assignments you had was to practice brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand. So what we're working on with that is remapping in our brain, building new pathways for learning um, from both a motoric and a cognitive perspective. So how did you do? Was it easy? Did it start out hard and end up easy by the time you got to now where we are in the week? Um, so hopefully you practiced that at least a couple of days during the week and were able to see how you can build new skills and demonstrate new learning. We're going to continue with our deep breathing work. So the goal of breathing exercises is to help make sure that we are centered and focused when we want to do new learning. We can also use breathing when we feel stressed or anxious or worried about things. Um, but we're adding a little component today and what we're doing is we're going to take a deep breath in and raise our arms up. And as we do that, we want to think about expanding that belly for the diaphragmatic breathing. And then we're going to exhale, bringing our arms back down to our sides. Okay, so let's work on this just a little bit. And again, let me refresh that though too. When we exhale, we want to exhale through our mouth um, and breathing in through the nose. So here we go. We'll do about five breaths together. So we're going to breathe in deep. So I hope that you were able to really feel that center of, of breath deep in your diaphragm there. The goal for the arms is just to increase your awareness of your body and to help maybe think about increasing that breath as you inhale. Um, and then when you're exhaling and bringing those arms down, thinking about how you're squeezing all that air out of your lungs to really get rid of all of that that's in there. Um, so. That's kind of just our gentle breathing work and addressing our focus. Um, you can use this again at any time. I, I encourage you if you have your journal or some paper to jot this down and to make this a part of your day where you every day, maybe morning or afternoon or evening or all of the above, 
find the time to work on some deep breathing techniques. So Monday, December 28th is National Playing Cards Day. So the, our walk down memory lane is to think about your favorite memory or just memories in general of playing cards. What do you think about when you think about playing cards? Maybe it was with your parents or your siblings, cousins. Um, but where were you when you would play cards? What games did you play? And with whom were you with? So one of the favorite things that I remember is growing up and we would go visit my grandpa and grandma and we would go to church on Saturday night and then we would come home and we would have big card playing opportunity in the kitchen at the kitchen table. Sometimes they would bring over some of their friends. Um, sometimes it was just my parents and myself and brother and grandma and grandpa. Um, but it was always a fun time. I, I, you know, when we think about those emotions as well, thinking about the emotions of memories is very important. It, it brings back a comforting feeling. It brings back a sense of, of joy and laughter because my grandpa was always so serious and my dad would do everything in his power to try to get my grandpa to laugh during cards. So... You know, those are some of the fun memories I have. We played pitch. I never could figure out pinochle. Um, but, you know, watching them play with their friends on some of those other card games, um, sitting around that small little table uh, brings back some really wonderful memories. So I'd like you to just jot this information down on your paper or in your journal. What is your favorite memory of playing cards? Where were you? with whom, and what games did you play? And then jotting down some emotions. And then after we're finished with our session today or later in the day, you are welcome to uh, write down your, your walk down memory lane. So hopefully that brings back some good fun memories. Today we're talking about some memory strategies looking at attention and visualization. So these may sound a little bit familiar to last week when we worked on remembering pictures and names of cookies. Um, but we're also going to add in even more of our repetition. Whoops, sorry about that. And I always want to, to bring you back to the home plate that is attention. When we are stressed, worried, angry, sad, depressed, any of those types of emotions, those send off different chemicals in our brain which make it very challenging for us to attend to tasks, to activities, to information. So it's very important to again come back to that more level ground that you can acquire for, by doing your deep breathing techniques whenever you want to work on something that you want to remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. But our brain is not able to remember. It's not able to attend and then remember if those chemicals in our brain are saying fright, flight, fright, flight. So we have to calm those things down in order to allow us to focus on the things within our environment. All right, so let's move on and work on our training for today. As I mentioned, it is Monday, um, Monday, December 22nd is National Card Playing Day. So we're going to take a little journey through our exercises, our brain exercises today and work on visualization. So hearts are jumping jacks. So whenever we see hearts, we're going to do jumping jacks, okay? So what that means is we're just bringing our arms up and down. We can also bring our legs in and out as we do that. Um, and as always, just go to what is a comfortable pace for you or a comfortable posture even. Some people might need to do their jumping jacks here in front because the shoulders don't want to go up, up overhead. So, well, let's just practice this. We're going to visualize jumping jacks with 
the hearts. Um, and the reason I think that that's a good association is, or a good mix is because of that association. Jumping jacks are good for your cardiovascular system, which in turn are good for your heart. So hearts equal jumping jacks. The next one we have are spades. Okay, so we're going to be thinking about spades. Whenever we see spades coming up in a little bit, we're going to do marches. Okay, so let's just take a second and visualize the spades in our head and marching. You can even put that into action as you look at this slide here and see spades equal marches. Looking at it, is there anything that you visualize as you look at this picture to help you remember? You know, maybe when you look at the, the spade and you see the the two little arches at the bottom, maybe that makes you think of elbows moving, right? I don't know. Just trying to visualize something that can help you think of spades equal marches. Okay. Okay, so our next one is clubs and clubs equal punches. Okay, so clubs equals punches. So maybe when you look at this and you see the the three parts of the club, maybe the top part is the head, you visualize a head and you visualize the two other circle parts as the arms coming out and punching. They're the hands, that they're the fists that you see there. Um, so visualize clubs equal punches. Okay, so clubs, punches. Again, visualize it and Think about that. Our fourth one uh, is diamonds, okay? And so diamonds are going to be arm circles, okay? I don't have any cool way for you to remember this one when I think of it visually, um, but diamonds, arm circles. So visualize that on this card. Visualize the words. All right, so let's continue on. We're going to go through it again. So now we're working on our repetition. Okay, so we've done it once. We did our visualizations. The next step of our exercise, our brain exercise, is to work on repetition. So we're going to go through them again. Spades equal marches, right? We've got those two knees coming up high on the spades. Spades equals marches. Okay, next one, diamonds and arm circles. Diamonds and arm circles. Repeat it to yourself in your head. Repeat it out loud. Diamonds equals arm circles, all right? Repetition is what it's all about. Hearts, jumping jacks. What's good for the heart is cardiovascular jumping jacks. I am doing marching, that's not right. <laughs> told you I could make you laugh. So hearts equals jumping jacks. There we go. Repetition. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. Okay. Clubs. Punches. Clubs equals punches. Repetition. Say it out loud. Repeat it. Repeat it. I don't hear you. Good, clubs equal punches. All right, so here we go. We're going to repeat again, taking away some of our visual cues this time. So clubs equals punches, clubs equals punches, spades equal marches, spades equals marches. So clubs, right, marches, those knees, think about those knees maybe. All right, heart, repetition, heart, right? Jumping jacks, let's see if I can do my jumping jacks the right way this time. Heart, jumping jacks, and diamonds, arm circles. Diamonds, arm circles, yes. Okay, so you may be wondering, well, okay, Michelle, this is all fine and dandy, but why in the world are we doing exercises when we're supposed to be doing memory things? Well, great question. The reason for that is that when we challenge our brain, 
and our body at the same time, when we try to do learning and recall and improve our brain or the movements, if we pair memory and movement together, our brain gets a better benefit. Okay, so it's called a cognitive load. We're increasing our cognitive load, which helps with learning. Okay, so let's go through these now. We're going to actually do this and do it from memory. So what is this one? We've got a jack of hearts. What exercise do we do? All right, that's right. We've got our jumping jacks. And so I gave us an extra little cue here by using the jack this time, right? So we've got heart jumping jacks. Good. So let's just do this a little bit again. Working on our own cardiovascular fitness here. Another benefit of this class today is working on exercise, getting that blood flow and oxygen flow. Good. Oxygen flow. That's a good one too. All right. So ace of clubs. What exercise goes with the clubs? Correct. We've got our punches. So let's do our punches. We see the club. We think of punches. Yes, good job. Get those arms out there nice and long. Make that body work here. Again, go at your own pace. If it hurts, don't do it. See if you can do it with a smile though too. That's always good. Very good. All right, now let's go to our next card. So this time we have a six of diamonds. What exercise is paired with our diamonds? That's right, it's our arm circles. So let's do our arm circles. Let's just go ahead and do those for six. Since it's a six on our card here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. So those arm circles are our diamonds. Let's keep moving. The next card is a three of spades. So what's our exercise? That's right, it's our march. So let's march it out. Again, I think about the visualization of the spade. What is that visualization? Well, I think of it as the knees. The knees are coming up for the spade on our march. Good job, just keep marching. Three of spades and we'll stop. Next, we're back to our six of diamonds. You got it. Let's do six of them and let's go backwards this time for our arm circles. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, the diamonds equals arm circles. Next card, think about those hearts. What is the heart? The heart is the jumping jacks. That's right. So let's do our jumping jacks. Very good. I hope you're getting your heart rate up a little bit. Make sure you drink some water when we're done with class. Water is also a great benefit to our brain. And stopping there. I think we've got a couple more. So this one here, the spade. You got it, back to our marches. There we go. Those knees, I'm using my visualization skill, I'm using my repetition skill. Knees, <clears throat> excuse me, marching for our spade. And stopping there. Next one is our clubs, ace of clubs. And this exercise is? Yes, that's right, it's our punches. Very good, our clubs are punching. I visualize it like a head and two fists coming out. So I've got my punches. 
and I practiced through repetition. I said clubs equal punches lots of times to help my brain remember it. Very good. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to, that was good by the way. Thank you for doing that little bar, part with me, working on some brain exercises and a little bit of body exercises too. So what I want you to do now is using your pen and paper or your journal is to jot down what those four suits were and what exercise was paired with each of them. Okay, so jot those down, remembering what each of them were. Putting your memory to a little test from the visual and repetition component. And then your homework is to do this multiple times throughout this coming week. So keep your deck of cards handy. Maybe keep it on your chair or on your little end table right by your chair where, or couch where you like to watch TV. And during the commercials, pick a card. Oh, it's a jack. Better do my jumping jacks, right? Sorry, a jack of hearts. Got to say the whole thing here. Jack of hearts. That's like our picture that we have here in our, in our slides. Then the next one, you've got a six of spades. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to do six marches. You can add and use those numbers that are on the face of the card even. So I really would like you to practice this over the week and see how you do. You can even make it more complicated by changing it up. Once you feel like that's really easy and you remember what each of those suits represents, then you can switch it up and say, you know what, I don't really like doing jumping jacks, so I'm going to do wall push-ups. So every time I draw a, a heart, I'm going to do wall push-ups, and it's, I'm going to do however many is on the face of that card. Okay, so have some fun with it, but challenge your brain with this activity. Some other things I want you to do that are good for your brain is to stay connected. And I know that this is really tricky and that this is getting harder by the day, but stay connected. Reach out to people, whether it's through a phone call or a video call or a, a note that you mail. You know, maintain contact with people. Maintain that emotional connection with others. And talk about things that you do throughout the day. Um, talk about these exercises. Share them with someone else and have them try them with you. So stay connected. Also, moving every day, multiple times a day. Again, this can be a little tricky as we're working more on staying within smaller spaces. But we did a lot of movement just in this very confined space that we're in here and in a short amount of time. So do it multiple times a day and you don't have to have a lot of space. You can march in place in a chair, you can do it standing up, um, but just think about moving multiple times a day. And finally, what I'd love to have you guys do is to do some card games. So I asked you to get your deck of cards. Um, and if you don't have a deck of cards, all you have to do is call the, the restaurant, call Prairie Star, and we can get you some. Um, if we don't have any on hand, we can get them ordered for you. So don't use that as an excuse that you don't have any. But play solitaire. Play concentration even. So the game where you maybe, I saw one activity even where they didn't have a complete deck of cards. So what they did was just cut the cards in half and then that way they had the match for each of them. Also very good because it works on some fine motor skills. But just you, you get your matches and then you shuffle them all up or you shuffle them on the table lay them out, and then you try to remember which ones were where. A good old game of concentration is excellent for a memory activity. Um, so play some cards. All right. 
So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this session of some, some new learning and taking a national calendar day of playing cards, national play, playing cards day, and turned it into a memory activity. Have a wonderful, happy, and safe new year, and I will see you in 2021. Take care. Bye-bye.